Fortnite Save the World is third-person shooter survival, set on an alternative Earth, where 98% of the world disappearing zombies rise to take the rest. Do you like zombies? Me neither, that's why me and you are one of the commanders, who fight against the brainless creatures. Our mission is to explore the planet, save the survivors and teach the bad guys a lesson. In general we will explore, collect, build and fight. Your journey start with a simple pickaxe, but you should know that this is the most important weapon of any commander. With your pickaxe you will farm resources and you will be able to open even the locked doors. Resources? Yeah, as a professional world saver you will need to farm and collect some materials in order to fight the bad guys and save the good guys. And remember, the good guys will be very thankful, may give you some presents and even help you in general with your mission. Yeah, I like presents. Let's get some resources. Here are the basic type of resources. Building. Crafting. Upgrading. Build resources? But I am not an engineer. Not now, but in a few levels you will become Pro Master Super Hyper Builder. The building resources are. Wood, just hit some trees, doors, walls, pallets, even some flowers. Stone, brick. Smash them rocks, roofs and fences. Metal, all type of vehicles, pipes and even the cave minerals in the wild. Just smash whatever you want. I like to smash things. How about husks? Yeah. Here comes the other type of resources, the crafting ones. There are a lot of weapons sitting in the wild, waiting to be found while exploring. But every good soldier should be always prepared and bring with him his favorite weapons. That's why with missions you will receive schematics for different type of weapons. If you like one, get the resources and craft it. I like big guns. In no time you will find the best one for you. Which one is the biggest? The biggest and the best weapon in the game is your brain. So let's keep upgrading it. Can I upgrade my brain? Sure, most of the weapons in the game can be upgraded, so they will be better, faster, stronger. I will tell you more in a minute. Okay, now I have resources and weapons, how do I start the game? There are different types of missions from you to select. You will find your favorite later, depending on your playstyle. There are attack, defend, build, protect and the best part is, that all of them can be done solo, with friends or with other passionate world savers. What's the difference? If you want to play solo, the missions will take more time and resources, but don't worry you can handle it and I am always here to play with you. Cool let's start. How can I gather resources faster? Funny you ask, there is a way. Tell me. There are four classes of heroes, oh. Assassin. Explosive Specialist, Healer, Teleporter. Um nope, much better. Outlander, you farm faster and you can punch off almost anything. Husks? Yeah. The next one is Soldier, focused on ranged combat and grenades. After that is a Ninja, quick, high jumping, stealthy Husk Killer. Husk Killer. Ha ha ha, I like that. Constructor, the master builder and defender, crowd controller and focused on strategic eliminations. Nah, that sounds boring. Tell me more about the Outlanders. Don't worry, you will have plenty of time and husks to try all of the classes and I'm sure you will find the best one for the different situations. Furthermore, all classes have subclasses, which make the hero unique. Uh, and you can hire up to 5 hero helpers, to build your hero loadout and became even stronger and fun to play. Of course when you find your favorite and you have the resources, upgrade. Upgrade. In what situation I will want to be the boring constructor? The main goal and most of the missions is to build something and then defend it. You said most? Yeah, let me tell you about the missions real quick. In general the missions are attack or defend.
the attack is clear, you have something that need to be destroyed, you go, fight and you crash it to the ground. The defend are the most common, here you need to explore, find the objective, build around it and defend it. Okay, but what if the objective is attacked from all directions? How can I be everywhere? Here it comes the strategic part of the game, the specific builds and traps. Traps? Are they dangerous? Only for the husks. Okay, can you show me the best trap placement? Let me show you some basics and you will decide what to use. This one is one of my favorites. Select the place where it should work and just watch the husks go through it again and again, or just send them out of the map. The other basic one is this one. When you start playing you will see how they work and you will find more good combinations. But what if husks destroy my trap tunnel? You can rebuild it or make it stronger. Stronger? Yeah, you can upgrade your builds by spending more materials. Each element can be upgraded two times. So why I don't upgrade my builds every time? Saving the resources resources. We are eco. Okay, I get it, the traps look like will do all of the job. Why I just don't use them every time. You said it, we are eco. Once placed, they can't return to your inventory. That's sad. What about the weapons? Weapons will stay with you until they broke or you recycle them. Oh no. How can my weapons break? Well, nothing lasts forever. Every weapon has a couple of statistics like damage, magazine size, reload size, element, durability. So you use it, use it, use it and at some point it will break and you will need to craft it again. With resources. From the receipts. Schematics, yes, from schematics. You said, the weapons have statistic, element. Like earth, water, air, and fire. Yes and no. The weapons have variable perks, which can be changed and upgraded. One of these perks are the element and depending on the type of husk you are fighting, there are better or worse element to select. For an example, it's recommended to fight the fire husks with water weapon. Here is one graph, which you can save for later. Hold on, you tell me that there is different type of husks? Yeah. There are different type and different husks. I'm starting to get confused. Don't worry, once you start the game everything will come to its place. Okay let's go oh, oh I am ready. Wait, I didn't tell you about the most important thing. I know I know, don't trade, be aware of scammers, don't trust strangers. Ugh, the second most important thing. Survivors. Sure, save them. Whatever it takes. Even better, survivors, will help you to get stronger. Collect the survivors, put them in your squad, upgrade, arrange and in no time you will be so powerful, that no husk will stand on your way. Yes master. Do you have any questions? What is Nocturno? Oh my gosh.